Mustang Rebuilder here. Um, first, I want to say thank you, you guys, on uh, for YouTube and help me out. Got over like 1,350 subscribers, and I think I'm getting close to 50,000 views to the channel. I really appreciate it. A lot of likes, a lot of comments. You know, I answer every comment. And um, today. We're not working on a stump grinder, we're not working on a Mustang, we're not working on a Crown Vic. Today I'm working on my Tundra. Apparently I blew a, a wheel cylinder on the rear brakes and um, I babied her home. And what this video is about is something simple. I've got some tools here. See that ball peen hammer? Yeah, it's a ball peen hammer, also called an engineer's hammer. Uh, this one was either out of my dad's or my uncle's toolbox. It's a small, I don't know, probably eight ounce hammer. I just got it placed here to show you something. This hammer's probably 60, 70 years old. I mean, I'm sure it was used when my dad got it or my uncle got it, and it's still functional. But my other hammers, the wooden handles were getting old, and um, so I decided to replace them. Then I went to Lowe's and just got to pick up a cobalt, and it was a 32 ounce, and it was like mm, almost 20 bucks for one hammer. I almost bought it, but I went and picked up something else, and I walked out of the store, forgot to buy the hammer. But on the way home, I stopped at Harbor Freight because I knew I was going to need a newer hammer, and they had a complete set of five for $19 and some cents. And I used my 20% off coupon that you can use on your phone. So I paid for the taxes and got it down a little bit more. But I don't have it open the box yet. I just cut it open with, cut open the tape so we can see together what the hell I just bought. And you know what? The fiberglass handles, and I've had fiberglass handle ones before, and they last. And Jesus, just a hammer. Well, there's the big one, and it's got a slender grip on it, but it's, it feels solid. Let's see what else we got. Let's just pour them out. How's that? Well, there we go. They're all tied in here. Look at this small one here. It's comparable to the one I already had. Look at that. And then, so it comes with five hammers. It comes with 6, a 12, 16, 24, and 32 ounce. And um, how the hell can you beat that for 19 something dollars? So, from the grip, and let's take off the plastic on the head, take a look at it. It seems to be epoxied in just fine. And I know I gotta hit this anyway. It doesn't send a shock into my hand by hitting it. I guess the fiberglass and this little bit of rubber here absorbs it. So, you know what? For $19 and something cents, I give it a thumbs up. You get five hammers, put them in your box. And here's another thing uh, they do come, let's see, hold on. Look at there, lifetime warranty. So that means you break it, abuse it, beat the living crap out of it, just take it back to the store and they'll exchange it for another one. What I do is normally bring the whole set and they just give me a whole set whenever I break a tool rather than just replace it with one thing. And by the way, in my shop today, I haven't had the insulation sprayed on the roof yet. It's like 96, 98 degrees. So I'm sweating my you know what off. And, uh,. You know what? At the end of this, before the end, there'll be a trivia question about a car or a movie or something. And you win one of those stickers for the saying I have, you know, um, if you're not learning something new every day, you must be dead. And I'm also going to put, at the end of this video, a couple of pics the guys sent me of the guys that have won the stickers before. Great people. I get them out to you right away. And by the way, the stickers are available to anybody in the world. I'll send them out to you, okay? The uh, tool awards I do, I can't. It's just too expensive to ship stuff. And, um, you know, hell, just to send a sticker. It's, you know, I sent the last one to Canada. 
which uh, I'll post his name and stuff. I really appreciate you guys' the feedback. It's kind of fun for me to give you something back for watching one of my videos. And um, anyway, and to give me work on this, when I'm done, I'll go inside, shower up, give you the trivia question, and we'll just go from there. It's Sunday, like I said. And um, God bless you all. And I really appreciate, once again, all the feedback. Okay? Anyway, talk to you just a little bit. I'm back. Took the shower. Oh, good Lord, was I sweaty and nasty. Got all the parts laid out for what I'm going to order. And um, Anyway, it's trivia time, right? Before I give you a trivia question, I got to say this, okay? One of my tool reviews before on the sockets, everybody was great. Except for the other day, I got somebody that, you know, hey, I got a hater. There's haters everywhere. Guy called me a communist and da 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 and uh, my God, I served 25 years and I wore a badge. I'm no communist, okay? Yeah, I do buy tools from Harbor Freight for the common man. And if you think if you go to Home Depot, Lowe's, or wherever that you're going to get a U.S.-made tool, I buy U.S. when I can on my real good, good, or electronics or something like that. But even half the computer components and all, uh, boards and all are made in, in China. And for that guy that gave me the hateful stuff, uh, the thing that he was typing in to get the information to me on YouTube to, to give me hate, hell, was made in China, okay? It is what it is. Anyway, back to the trivia question, okay? It's time for me to reward you guys for taking time watching me, the old grumpy you-know-what. Anyway, James Dean. Some of you young guys don't know who James Dean is, but this is a good thing for you to look it up. You're going to Google it. And this contest for the stickers open to anyone in the world. I don't care. Timbuktu, wherever. Okay? I'll ship you a sticker. And the sticker is, you know, my famous saying. You know, if you're not learning something new every day, you must be dead. Anyway, back to the question. The question is on the famous actor, James Dean. He died in an auto accident. Okay? I want to know what year and car he was driving. Okay? So the make, model, and year that he was driving when he died. Okay, he died really young. And um, he was a really, actually, from what I read, he was a re actually a pretty damn good driver, too. Um, besides all that, that's the trivia question. It's open to anyone. I'll post the rules in the description. And you know what? It's open. Uh, the first two people that get the question right, like I say. From now on, it's the first two people that, that answer the question. You get a sticker from me. And then uh, when I click this off, at the end, I'm going to follow up with a couple of pictures of uh, the last winners. Um, it's just what they sent me, the pictures from the stickers and their, on their toolbox and stuff. Great guys. You know, um, once again, thanks again. Just another video, and I hope I didn't bore you. And uh, the set of hammers, especially a young guy building a toolbox, you can't go wrong. Okay? And... Um, Hey, later on, if you get something better, pass it down to your kids, okay? Uh, I don't care if it's a boy, girl, whatever. They need to know how to use tools. That, that's the problem here in America now. Actually, I think it's a problem around the world, okay? A lot of young men and young women don't know what a tool is, don't know. You know, they can use their minds very well, but they can't apply their, their mind to their hands, okay? They're not connected, Okay, and somehow, some way, we've got a stigmatism that people that work with their hands that we're stupid. I don't know where or who started this crap. Okay, but you know yourself. Uh, when you need a plumber, you're gonna pay out your, you know what? Okay, not just a plumber, electrician, AC guy, uh, auto mechanic. You know, or like I am, I'm a, a stump grinder. When you need me, you're paid. Anyway, God bless, okay? Have a great weekend.